हेलो एवरीवन, आई एम स्निता कक्कर एंड दिस इज माय चैनल एक्सिलरेट एआई करियर्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग प्रॉब्लम लीड कोड 49 ग्रुप एनाग्राम्स इट हैज बीन आस्ड इन एमेजॉन गूगल एंड माइक्रोसॉफ्ट इट इंटरव्यूज इन लास्ट सिक्स टू ट्वेल्व मंथ्स इट इज़ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग प्रॉब्लम इन टर्म्स ऑफ क्लियरिंग आउट योर फंडामेंटल्स इट्स अ गुड प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन let's try understanding the question first then we'll go through the algorithm we are going to use to solve this question i'm going to show you two approaches and finally we'll code the question so i will suggest you code along with me and then once the video is done after that practice it yourself for both the approaches and let me know if you find some other better approach i would love to learn from you before you start learning from me please subscribe to my channel for your daily lead code challenge Let's go ahead understanding the question. So the question says that we have been given an array of strings STRS and we have to group the anagrams together. Now what is an anagram? So let's look at an example and understand. So we have been given these strings as an input here and we have to group the anagrams. So to understand what is an anagram, let's look at two words tan and nat. So these two words tan and nat if you see if you rearrange them then one word can lead to the other word basically in tan if you switch the positions of n and t then that will lead to nat if you rearrange the letters in a particular given string and you get the other string then the two strings are anagrams as the definitions here says that it's a word or phrase formed by rearranging the letters of a different word or phrase so typically using all the original letters exactly once there are several ways to solve this question um, but let me go through the two other examples here so in this first example if you see you have been given some strings like eat t tan eight nat bat and how the output has been grouped so bat doesn't have any other word as an anagram here so it's been secluded as a list now nat and tan are two words and anagram of each other eight eat and t are anagrams of each other so hence they have been formulated as a separate list that's your output now example 2 shows that you have been given a blank list in that case your output is also a blank list so it's a list of list in example 3 you have been given just one alphabet a and the output is also that alphabet a because there are no anagrams present so let's dive into two approaches we can take to solve this question and see the pros and cons of each approach and then finally whatever is the best approach will code it now the brute force approach could be sorting suppose you have these two words tan and nat if you sort them if you sort tan and that sort will lead to ant and if you sort nat that will also lead to ant so essentially any word which sorts to the same word is an anagram because it has the same number of each of those characters and can be used to rearrange those characters and formulate the other word hence sorting can help but what's the drawback of this approach suppose you use sorting in that case any sorting takes o of n log n complexity where n is the average length of each string right and how many strings do you need to sort it could be m strings present in the array so m strings you need to sort that means the time complexity would be o of m where m is the total number of strings in the array into n log n where n is the average length of each string so that is your time complexity with sorting can we have a better approach so the better approach could be using count of characters so that is the approach we going to take forward but how do we do that so maybe we can use a hash map or a default dictionary to record string and the characters it has and the count of each character it has suppose eat eat has 1 e 1 a and 1 t so this could be your key in your hash map and what will be your values your values would be any of those strings which have the same count of these characters so if you check for this count then this is your key and the values which will come here would be eat t and 8 that's how you can populate the hash map with the count of characters and the type of characters as the key and the words corresponding to them as values present in the array and that will lead to your result you can just return the values because you need to just return the grouped anagrams right you don't need the keys to be returned 
so that is your algorithm but what would be the time complexity in this case how it is better than sorting so in this case since you are counting the characters and it has been mentioned that there will only be small a to small z characters that is 26 characters at the very max so there cannot be any other characters and to count the number of characters that means you have to maximum count 26 right so and the number of strings is m and the average length of each string could be n so you have to span through each string so average length of that string is n you have to span through each string to count the number of characters and the number of characters can be at max 26 so this is your time complexity but a constant can be rounded off so essentially the time complexity would be o of m n where m is the total number of strings present in your array and n is the average length of the string so as you can see in terms of time complexity this solution lags whereas this solution is better but this solution uses an additional memory to capture hash map that explains my solution now we can start coding now first of all i will initialize a dictionary and this dictionary would capture mapping of character counts list of anagrams in the strings okay this is the list now for each string in strs i will define count which is the count of e characters so count equal to and since there are 26 characters like from a lowercase a to lowercase z there could be 26 of those characters so i will initialize the count like this basically a to z now for each character in each string s we need to update the count but we need to update the count in 0 to 26 so basically we want count of a to be at 0 right count of b to be at 1 so how do you bring that so we will take the ordinal value of character c minus ordinal value of character a so how will it help say suppose c is a in that case ordinal value of a minus ordinal value of a will lead to a zero right so count of zero so essentially you will be bringing it in that same very range and you can in increment this count if that particular character is present okay now you can append the result so what would be your key your key would be this count of characters right but this count of characters is a list but you know that in the dictionary in python you cannot capture that list as the key you have to capture it as a tuple and you can convert this count list to a tuple and then you can append this string s there so that ways you get all your anagrams grouped and then finally when you have run the entire loop you can return result dot values because you don't need the keys to be returned you just need the group of anagrams need to be returned and what would be the time complexity the time complexity here would be o of m dot n where m is the total number of strings present in this array and n is the average length of those strings so i hope you understand the solution i can just give you a brief summary of that we took the result as a dictionary which is a mapping of character counts to the list of anagrams and for s in strings we ran through each string we defined the count of characters and since characters could be a to z so they could be 26 hence we have defined it this way a list of 26 right Initial initialized by zero and then for each character in the string s append it to the count after increasing the count so how to bring the count in range of 0 to 26 we bring it like count of ordinal value of character c minus ordinal value of character a that brings it in the range of 0 to 26 and then we increment the count if the character is present and finally we append the string in our result with count as the key but count is list here and a list cannot be taken as a key so we convert it to a tuple first and finally we return result dot values i hope you understand the solution but there is one minor problem here what happens when this particular count is not present in the dictionary yet it has not been present and it is being entered for the first time so that's an edge case in that case there would be an error and you would have to handle the edge case instead of that i'm going to take a default dict and i'm going to take it by default as a list so if that count does not exist and it is coming for the first time in that case an empty list would be taken so that's why i'm initializing by default dict list i think i have handled all the edge cases let me run it and see if it works 
Yep. So let's submit. So as you can see, the solution works really well. Now, if you like my way of solving problems, do subscribe to my channel, share it with your network. Let me know in the comments here. If there is some other question which you want me to solve first, I would highly appreciate your feedback and comments. Thank you.